This is Sparta! Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Tanks. My name is Spartan Elite 43 and tonight we're on Ghost Town and we're in the T110E5, the damn Yankee. Alright, so I've been telling you guys that these two tanks, and I, this is a double feature episode, you probably already noticed, but these two tanks are so similar and I want to show you exactly how they're similar and how you can run them very similarly in a match and be effective. Now, the T110E5 isn't like a normal heavy tank. Yes, it can brawl, but it's at its best. So far, which I haven't played it a lot, don't get me wrong. But from what I've seen so far, it's at its best when playing it like the M48 Patton, which I have some experience with now. I'm not the best. I never claim to be the best in a medium or heavy tank. Trust me, I'm not, not that guy. But, you know... They are very, very similar tanks. They they have very similar mobility. The E5 obviously has more armor, especially hull armor, uh, but the turret is also a beast. And it's got a 120 millimeter gun, which is very, very good. Uh, where the Patton only has a 105. That being said, they will both do very, very similar damage. Uh, they both hit for 350 to 450, somewhere in that neighborhood. Uh, the E5 will generally high roll on low armor tanks, where the Patton pretty much is a steady beast at 350 to 400, usually at the 400 mark, um, on just about everything. Uh, but right off the bat, we've got a 1390 hiding the back of the hill, and we've got, you know, a chieftain it looked like headed that direction as well. So I'm just biding my time. We got a Jag Panther 2 who's about to overextend himself, and we're going to make him pay. Oh. He just dove off. Is he going to pull out in front of us? Yes, he is. There we go. 417 right off the bat. There goes all of his hit points because we tracked him. He pulls up, gets one shot, and pop goes the weasel. 62 damage later. So we've got a chieftain right next to us. So we, we've got another hill crawler. Uh, that's where these American tanks... And what are you doing? Oh, I was a little, little late on that one. So I guess he knows what he's doing a little bit, right? But am I going to miss that shot twice? Highly unlikely. Oh, come on! <laughs> That's what I get for saying highly unlikely. I guess it was really likely that I was going to miss that. Oh, hello, Chieftain. And he's by himself. There's a couple of me uh, a couple light tanks, but it looks like that Chieftain is by himself. And that's a battle I'm willing to get into. The Chieftain and the E5 are very similar. I've, I've said it already in this. But they are. They really are. They have... Gun, good gun depression with great turret armor and those combinations just make them hill peakers like crazy so 1390 shot into him there we go 400 damage chieftain right there with him look at this gun depression like that's just disgusting <laughs> and this is what makes these tanks extremely good we're giving the chieftain a little taste of his own medicine here now, I want to shoot, but I know I'm not going to pin that turret. See? Right there. I just bounced off of his turret. He bounced off my turret. We're in the same boat. So if he's going to hill peak and I'm going to hill peak, nobody's really going to get the advantage. That light tank bugged out, which is good for me because I didn't want to fight them both. So giving him a shot early on and then making him uh, run away was best for me. Because now I can be aggressive on this chieftain. So the chieftain has made a mistake. He has just left me. Like, he knows I'm here. He just shot at me multiple times. Now he charges back, but it's too late. I'm below his gun. He can't shoot me. Now I'm on his backside. And this is not where you want an E5 to be when you're in a Chieftain. I've got squishy bits to shoot, and you don't. <laughs> and, come on. There's another shot right into the side of his turret. And pop goes the Weezor. M55 finishes him. This was an absolute dismantling, and you can see why I like the E5, but the E5 and the Patton are very, very similar. The good news about the E5 is, oh, is he going to do it? Is he going to do it? Oh, come on. Pow! Oh, Spartan, get on my level. Good Lord. I'm a commentator, and you're making me look silly. <laughs> 
If only I could get commentator me. <laughs> tater me. Really? I'm tater salad now. If I could get commentator me and player me on the same wavelength, it'd be amazing. Imagine the videos I'd be able to put out. <laughs> anyway. So what we're expecting when we're firing this is the velocity that the Patton gets, but what you get out of it is an E5. Now this M55, I've been in this situation so many times that this isn't even sketchy to me. Just pull up, auto lock, end his life. Don't take the chance. Mission <laughs> accomplished. You know, that was a very acceptable auto lock. He's not going to bounce 120 millimeter round. 2958, 800 blocks, 639 assisted, two kills. Not bad. Mastery badge three. First time I've got that so far in this tank, I believe. So, on to the second match. Now we're going to jump in Hothead, the M48 Patton. And we're on Pearl River. And we're going to run into a friend. And this friend is in a tier 9 medium tank. His name is J-Rock. You may remember him a couple of times. Uh, he's, he showed up, I think, in some of my videos. But it doesn't matter. He's in a tier 9 medium tank, the E-50. And it's not quite fully upgraded. That's his problem, not mine. So, we're going to pay him a little visit. Right off the bat, I'm going to use the Patton's limited mobility, but mobility nonetheless, to charge down the right side and then go right up the middle goat path. And it's a good good play for a, a heavily armored medium like the Patton or the uh, E50. So I figure that's probably where I'm going to find him. Just a guess, but that's probably where I'm going to find him. And that was the plan the entire time because I noticed him right off the bat. That's why I check players because when I get a chance to go against friends, my friends know if you're in a game with me and you're on the other team, you might want to watch your six because I'm going to be there eventually. I will throw a match to kill you. Just so you know. <laughs> and I expect all the same from my teammates. Or not my, yeah, not my teammates. Don't throw the match to kill that guy, please. Good lord, you guys throw enough matches as it is. I'm allowed to throw a match once in a while. <laughs> but this isn't going to be a thrown match. This is going to be an absolute spanking from an M48 Patton to its German brother, the E50. So, we're just rolling up, and did you see that E50 already? I did. Guess what? He's about to get the hothead. But I'm not gonna be stupid about it, guys. That's where I have grown as a player. I used to just charge full in, get my butt kicked, and back off. Oh, hello, J-Rock. How you doing? Oh, I did get tagged by the other guy. The Type 61 did tag me, but it's okay. Because J-Rock knows he just... <laughs> it was at that moment he knew that he messed up. <laughs> and I pull in, I auto-lock. That was a bad plan. Don't do that. But I'm going to use this ridge line right here to only stick my turret up. And that's it. That is important. So right here, we get right into his flat armor on the front of his turret. And right now, he's, he's getting a little scared. Look at him trying to run away. He can't run away fast enough. And again... Pop goes the weasel. 238, J-Rock, sorry brother, go back to the garage. And he had a laugh about it too. He said, I'm just not fully upgraded. But again, not my problem. That's yours. You want to bring a broken tank into the battle? Bring a broken tank. I'm going to bring my fully functional tanks. <laughs> uh, look, this guy's like, uh, yeah, I don't, wanna, I don't know what I'm going to do. And I'm like, dude, there's a guy right over here. He's a one-shot kill. I'm going climbing. Oh, wait a second. Death Star. I about fumble here, folks. Not gonna lie. Watch what I'm about to do. Because I've got big ones. Right here. Woohoo! Hi! <laughs> Thank God people auto lock like doofuses. Shot out, and pop goes the weasel. And I'm pretty sure I accidentally backed and blocked his shot. So I'm, I think I say sorry. Uh, or actually, I think I said it in chat, to be honest, because I was by myself, so I was actually in uh, game chat. And the E5 right here with his backside to us. Just crest enough to get the gun down, and pop goes the weasel. That's our third kill of the game very, very quickly. Now, I slide down the mountain, and I'm headed right back up to the middle, because that's where the fun is. <laughs> so we're doing pretty well so far. We've got five hits, three kills. That's a pretty good game in a pet. It's not going to be high damage, but by golly, we were effective. <laughs> and 
And Type 61, remember me? Hop goes the weasel. That's our fourth kill of the game. And we got a low health mouse. Oh, can we get another one? Oh, they finish him right before I get there. Now I'm detected, but I'm going to roll down the hill as quickly as I can and head towards cover. Now my goal here is to get to a point to spot the guys on the hill. I've got good view range, so if I can spot those guys, I have a lot of guys behind me that could potentially shoot them. So I roll up. And then I notice all of the tanks that are can or that are going down that left side are being held off by only three tanks. So I'm making a beeline right for them. I've got to try to assist them in any way possible. So I'm, I'm not about driving straight in there and getting blasted. I only got two-thirds of my hit points, so we don't want to do anything stupid. But we've got to be able to try to at least take some of the pressure off those guys. Even if that means just letting somebody know that I'm there. That'll make one or two guys turn around to look at me instead of looking at the other guys. It's the little things, guys. Oh, hello, E4. And... Ow. Oh, what? What was that? It didn't bounce. That was weird. And he's behind a hill. Ah, okay. So that's one of those ghost shots that look like you're going to hit, but it actually had no chance of hit. Oh, Jag, do I got a shot? And, oh, he's behind a hill as well. And this is just a really bad position. I'm going to have to move up, be a little more crazy, and see if I can't dig my way into somebody. Oh, here we go. E4's back out, and... Not sure exactly what happened there, but the shot didn't do any damage. Didn't track him or anything. This might be another case of a ghost shell. It happens. The, that, the map is kind of weird, especially with the uh, penetration-like thing. Ooh, somebody just tagged me. Not hard, but tagged me. But, again, that's one person that's not looking at my friendly tanks, which means we're doing okay for ourselves. Now, I'm going to roll up. These guys are getting cleaned up left of us. And, come on, what do we got? They found us. I roll down the side, not too aggressively, so that I don't end up either flipping my tank or doing damage to myself, because I can't afford to do damage to myself at the moment. But, I'm rolling up to my left. We've got a Jag Pansy 100. He gets clipped. The last guy's at the base, so no sense me going back there, because they can finish him off. Or so I think. So I'm going to run back to the other side and see if I can assist these guys now. Because at least two tanks are spotted over there, and two tanks are better than one tank. So the likelihood of me getting more damage is better over here. And you can see they've got three capturers in our base now. That's not cool. <laughs> right now, I'm making a huge commitment. And I am begging my team, please get the reset. Guys, I need you to do this one thing for me. I don't ask a lot. Good news is they clipped one of them out, but that still leaves two people. And the bad news is our Waffentrager is now reloading, which is definitely not preferable. So I may have just cost us the match by coming over here instead of getting in behind our base and doing damage there. Come on, guys, somebody get a clutch reset. It's almost over. Two, oh, two seconds left and they reset it. That's a good one. Make sure we hit the other guy, please. Come on, somebody. Can we get another reset? Can I get a reset? No. Oh, hello, Waffentrager. You've got way too much health. And I just... go oh, fix that track. Get out of there. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Spartan, you fumbled that one. That was about ugly. Let him, let him forget about us. And then we'll just roll in and bug the crap out of him. He turns his gun away from us. We shoot him in the back, but we actually hit the rock, which is frustrating as crap. Now, we've pulled straight out behind him, and he makes a critical mistake. He tries to chase the Patton with his gun. And pop goes the weasel. If he'd have kept his gun towards the other guy, he could have got another shot off. But you're not chasing a Patton with a Waffentrager turret. So what do we end up with? 2200 damage, not great. 240 blocked, 550 assisted, 4 kills, second on the leaderboard. So if you like what I'm doing, punch that like button, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and as always, I will see you in the next video.